This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Where are my brown dwarfs? I'm talking about certain astronomical phenomena. This is a tough problem. So, all right, so let me let me get you up to date if I can. First, Comet Ison broke my heart, and then just now, NASA's senior review broke my heart by breaking Amy Mainzer's heart. Apparently, they decided the hypervelocity stars, the relationship of red dwarfs, brown dwarfs, red giants, brown giants, green giants, jolly and unjolly. All that stuff wasn't that interesting, you know. So we'll take up broken hearts and time heals all wounds. Okay, great. This was written by Elizabeth Howell on May 16th, 2014. Do I want to stay on top of all the space news? This ain't about me, baby. There she is, the wise telescope, I guess. All right, it's exciting already. With all the jealousy, backstabbing, politics, lies, office habdashery, ergonomic fuckery, passive-aggressive teabagging. Correction! This story corrects a previously stated misinterpretation of the NASA senior report that the wise spacecraft itself was denied an extension. All right, now we got that out of the way. NASA has denied funding to an idea to use Neowise image exposures for additional processing for science purposes. According to Amy Mainzer, the deputy project scientist for the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer was at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The project, called MaxWise, was supposed to run for three years and to use NeoWise data for other purposes. We were hoping it would be possible to combine data from the Prime mission with the NEO mission. To look at things that vary on different time scales, Mainzer said in an interview Friday, May 16th, with the Universe Today. Thank you. Its goals would have been... Oh yeah, here's the freaking awesome part. Yeah, here's the meat of the hamburger. Its goals would have included measuring the motions and distances for stars and brown dwarfs Near the sun. Say what? Define near the sun. Say what? I said define near the sun. Define near the sun. I use got a definition. Somebody give them a call. Its goals would have included measuring the motions and distances for stars and brown dwarfs near the sun, examining variable stars, and setting up a transient detection and alerts program. For certain astronomical phenomena. Do you understand me? We're talking about certain astronomical phenomena. We're talking about certain astronomical phenomena. I'm talking about certain astronomical phenomena. I'm talking about certain astronomical phenomena. Brown dwarf stars, certain astronomical phenomena. That shit is not that important to them anymore. A conspiracy site was quoted to say, no, the government wants to save the money to help spy on us and report on climate change. But in a good way. In its review, the panel said it was concerned that the proposed transient detection program would yield little science, considering how much it cost. Well, looky there, man. You gotta love anytime government's like, man, that's too expensive. And uh, we don't see the benefit. And it approved the program at half of the budgetary levels originally requested. NASA, however, wrote, that it would decline the proposal altogether? The MaxWise proposal was recommended for selection by the senior review. The only source of funding would be to displace funding from higher funding rated funding mission operations in funding senior funding mission review. Due to funding constrained funding budget funding conditions, funding of the MaxWise proposal has been declined. There was a small EMP in the area. So I'm having to use carrier pigeons to send this audio. If I use it one too many funding, blame the telegraph. Time machines! The MaxWise proposal is declined, Potter! It is tremendously disappointing. Mainzer says she shed a few tears into a glass of good wine. But you can still use a force while you cry and drink wine. Or whatever you Vulcans do, man. Cheer up, my little Spock Arena! Everybody knows Spock was well known for his rhythm. It is tremendously disappointing, Mainzer said of the decision. Adding it's a tough NASA budget environment overall because, you know, we're being run by government. And government's not a big fan of 
Well, that's none of your business. She is encouraging people to get in touch with their elected representatives if they want to see changes. I don't really know what this part means. I mean, I guess I'm cynical. I have very little faith in government. At this moment, it seems its interests are wholly self-serving. Hey, what can I say? What can I do? I'm just one man. You know, you got the thumb down and everything else, so please, Master, just let me be. I shall now get in touch with my elected representatives. Like, who represents the whore? This is your mix. Congratulations. Cheer up, my little Spock Arena. It's like the Macarena, but way sexier and cooler. Everybody knows Spock was well known for his rhythm. I'm talking about certain astronomical phenomena. Say what? I said to find near the sun. Feeling happy hour. Feeling happy hour. Yeah. I'm talking about certain astronomical phenomena. Do you understand me? Say what? Cheer up, my little Spock Arena.